Today I'm going to show you a really unique Bangkok day trip. But before we get going, I'm a little bit hungry. Have you ever tried this one? Khao Man Gai, let's see how it tastes. 40 baht, I like the price. So this is uh, called Khao Man Gai and it's got this spicy sauce. It's a savory chicken uh, over rice with cilantro. This one has some cucumber on it. It's a pretty, there's no spice to it. It's easy to eat. Khao Man Gai for 40 baht. I'm gonna finish this off, was really hungry. And then we're gonna go down to the pier and I'll show you where we're going. Hi everyone, my name's Chris. I'm retired working for you. And look who I got. Hi. Got Haley. And you can see behind us here, we're at the entrance to uh, a Wat. This is called Wat Klong Toy No. It's chilly. It's, it's chilly. a little chilly. Haley has her LA hiking gear on. This is high noon when we're filming this. And we usually never go out for a walk at noon, but today we're going for a big walk. And to get there, you gotta come down through this temple here, and you end up at Kong Toy Pier, and we're gonna see if we can get a boat to the final destination. Twenty baht, ten baht each for each of us each way. So forty baht total for two round trip tickets across the river. Go small boat. Come back big boat. Oh, we're taking this little one. What do you think, Haley? There's our little boat. Yep. We're here at Klong Toy Pier. We chartered this little boat. We're gonna go over in a little boat across over there to Bang Kachau Pier. It's only a couple of minutes across the Chapaya River. Let's go. So we've arrived here at the pier, and this is a hidden gem in Bangkok. The best way to see it is by renting a bike. Yeah, Sam, Sam Roy. Sam Roy. Yeah. So we've rented a motorbike. We've decided actually to explore a bit. We rented a motorbike from this fine lady. Here's how it works. They take in the ID. It's 150 baht per hour. She's gonna keep my ID. She might sleep. She might be. Sleep now. She might sleep in here, and when we come back, we'll pay and get her ID back. <laughs> We're here in a place called Bang Kachau, and the size of this place is mind blowing. It's twelve thousand rai, which equals about five thousand acres. Uh, for some perspective, Lumpini Park, which most people consider. Bangkok Central Park, and definitely one of its biggest, is only 360 rai. So you could literally fit 33 Lumpini parks into the area taken up right here by Bang Kachau. It's the type of place you just drive around. There's a lot of wats, a lot of temples. Most of them are pretty nondescript. This one's actually called Wat Bang Kachau, Klarng, and uh, it's got a lot of signs with some good expressions on them. Even though I can get here from central Bangkok by walking and a short boat across the river, it really feels like you're in this rural jungle and in another place all together. I mean, look at this. This is nuts. They call this place the green lung of Bangkok. And when you look at an overhead satellite image of the city, it's pretty easy to see why. Not only does it look like a green lung, but it's predominantly made up of farmland, jungle, 
and forest. And this urban oasis absorbs about six tons of carbon dioxide per year and breathes out six million tons of oxygen every single day. highways so definitely recommended to uh, explore on a bicycle or do what we did rent a little scooter 150 baht an hour we're having a blast out here We stopped in here at the Bang Ka Chow Floating Market, also known as the Bang Nam Pung Floating Market. There's just row after row with all of these stalls. I'm sure in normal times, this place is hopping on a weekend. We're definitely putting it on a list to come back and check it out. And uh, I'll leave a Google Map link so you could check it out depending when you watch this video. Might be open and cranking again, but there's just row after row. It goes on forever back there. So we made it to what was supposed to be the highlight, which is Sri Kwan Khan Park. Is that what it's called? Sri Nakan Kwan Khan Park. And lo and behold, it's closed due to COVID. Uh, that's very disappointing. Uh, we'll definitely have to come back. It's a gorgeous park in there with some lakes and uh, just nice to walk around, ride a bike around. But I got a little bit of an idea. I think I can show it to you from above. When you're out here, you feel like you're way out in the Thai countryside. And it's just remarkable to think about how close you are to the big city of Bangkok. So that was Bang Ka Chow, the green lung of Bangkok. Google map link left in the description. I'd highly recommend it uh, next time you're in Bangkok if you're looking for something just a little bit different. Would you recommend it, Haley? Yes. We're gonna go back someday, right? Yeah. When it's open again. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you on the next video.